hello guys welcome back to the channel with another video this is Dennis Derritu yours truly representing Derritu basketball please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that you'll never miss out on any new videos that are coming in so back to this back to the fixtures that we have these are the games that were played by Kenya yesterday I did a two hour video detailing the full game and did a breakdown of their highlights their flaws I highlighted them but now in this video what you're gonna look at is the box score the plus minus the efficiency what they did and analyze from that data what they can do differently so that they can be able to get the win the other this other game which is uh, 19 February 2021 that's Friday this Friday and I'm um, optimistic that at least they can come out a bit competitive and uh, I'm not sure that I'm not sure they'll be doing in training camp but but hey um, every team has a strategy strategy that they use and um, hopefully they'll make it a close game a more competitive one than the other beat down that we got last year so let me, let me start from the jump so we got the overview Kelv Clevin Hanna was the guard for the Senegal team he had a plus minus he had a plus 22 efficiency rating 12 points 6 assists has 6 rebounds I mean 9 assists one steals and zero blocks we didn't expect him to block the ball but hey he did he did his thing in the assist department okay so we have Desmond Willie here he had an efficiency of a plus 13 11 points five rebounds zero assists one steal zero blocks okay this was the matchup that was supposed to be in this this guy had to like produce at least four to five assists which he didn't he was pretty low or even didn't even have any playmaking or assisting assisting ability and he was thoroughly outplayed by this Clevin Hanna guy so hopefully he went and watched the film of that game so that he can be able to improve on that because we cannot be at the point that we were last year we have to keep on improving we have to take every experience as a learning experience we cannot allow ourselves to lose again okay let's go to the box score the thing that amazes me here with the box score especially for Senegal everyone had a good game I mean everybody had a good game they were spreading the well like their top scorer was Ibrahim Afai he had 19 points he was uh, shy from a 20 point but he missed the free throw late in the game um, we had one two three four five players with 10, 10 points or more we had um, this other guy this Louis Adams we had uh, Mark Tanguay he had he they were like one and two points shy respectively of 10 points pretty respectable pretty good scoring especially when he came to this guy this Clevin Hanna he was he played huge minutes uh, contributed big with 12 points 9 assists six rebounds especially in the assist department he creates so many shots for these guys that's why they're having a good game but it's but when I ca when I came in here and looked at the plus minus this guy had an exceptionally great game Clevin Hanna with a twin plus minus of plus 27 an effective efficient and a efficiency rating of 22 I mean this guy was pretty good man pretty damn good and um, no minus but now when you come to Kenya oh my god my team my team my team starting from the lowest guy who played the lowest minutes the highest guy who played the highest minutes everyone had a bad game if you have a game that you have a minus 30 this is a bad game you should not even be in the court man 
These guys who played heavy minutes shouldn't even be on the court. This is a negative 33. This is bad. This is a this is not not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. Not not good in my book. So any point that you scored here, you're taking too many shots. It took you 10 shots to score 10 points. I mean, that's not efficient. 13 shots, 4 of 13 to <laughs> like this guy Ronald Gombe. Four, four shot four of 13, eight points. I mean, not efficient. The only efficient guy I saw here in the shot, he had a 62.5% shot. But, um, hey, I mean, he had a negative, he had a plus minus of minus 19. So that means that he cost the team in such way. I can say the whole team stank. They all stank in this game. No one had a good game. I mean, the highest scorer was only with 13 points I mean that is that is unacceptable because in this outing we have like two other players who went oh didn't just they were just out there just doing smart card you know points rebounds assists blocks steals I mean I don't understand this and they are not even playing heavy minute <laughs> they're not even playing heavy minutes but this was just smart cardio, like this for him, Juma was smart cardio, did nothing on the court. Fidel Ocot did nothing on the court. This Victor Dendo did nothing on the court. Personal foul and a turnover, foul, turnover, I mean. Should never even be, should not even have any business playing with this team. And that is why this team is a top 40 team and we are back here at number 122, man. Goes to show you how elite these guys play I believe this guy plays in um, a European league or somewhat he plays overseas I think yeah Senegal is a pretty good team and they really outclassed us in an emphatic way I mean no one had a good game no one had an easy scoring night nobody 3 of 13 poor field goal percentage I mean this guy was inefficient did nothing they're just fouling fouling left right and center which is so sad Oh my god, if, if I keep looking at this, I'm going to lose it. Okay, coming back here. Shooting percentage on two-point field goals. They are converting them because they are attacking, attacking them the really mostly. Kenya, on the other hand, didn't. On the other hand, we didn't attack the rim aggressively, at least. We, have had, we had a little bit of foul calls, but... Nobody nobody was aggressive in attacking the rim. They were just settling for inefficient jumpers, which was not a good thing. They saw this and they capitalized on the bleeding. That's why they have a two point they have like a high two point field goal percentage because they are converting it in just below the rim. And three points, they're really killing us in the transition. This Clevin Hanna guy was dishing out dimes, they were converting. These shots were just forced shots, inefficient shots, even if they went in. I mean, it didn't mean anything. It didn't mean much. Free throws, we didn't, get, we didn't get to the free throw line as much. But we fouled this other team to make them go to the mode, mode to take more free throws, which was a bad thing. Some of, uh, <laughs> I mean, some of them guys who scored zero points were the guys who were fouling. I mean, it's, it's unacceptable. We are then out rebounded, defensive rebounds. They are crashing the balls defensively. If this is a bad thing, if they have more defensive rebounds than us, that means they have more offensive rebounds than us. And here's why: this is bad. This is a bad start. You cannot get out rebounded. Who is there? Who's gonna be there to take this ball? Okay, I mean, get your head in the game. Steals, I mean, they beat us in all major statistics except blocks and fouls. Of course, you had to lead in fouls because you are fouling every time. Even the guys who never even, the guys who never even did anything significant were fouling out. They were just fouling it. <coughs> Man, this is this is pretty pretty sad, pretty sad. The only start we've lead is blocks and fouls, steals, they beat us in steals, assists. That's why I keep on insisting, even in the other vote, the two votes that I did la last night. 
these guys were beating us in the assist department because they were sharing the ball, not taking ill-advised shots, inefficient shots, and unnecessary threes just because the shot clock is expiring. Another thing, like Kenya, Tim Morans especially, please obey the shot clock. Know how to use the shot clock. The shot clock is there to make you understand like you only have 24 seconds to execute a play. You don't have the luxury of time and you have to be more decisive in your plays. So please obey the shot clock. Make smart plays so that can prevent you can be able to like stop these assists from ballooning. <sighs> points of turnovers, they beat us in that department. Fast break points, of course, they beat us emphatically because they are converting in, they are converting from the offensive, from the defensive boards, transition points. Okay, we are tied in second chance points, but it's okay. Points in the paint, they had scored us in the paint. We looked small out there. We can beat them. You can use your size to your advantage, Kenya, team or runs, even if, even if they are tall, because they were all tall, we can be able to stop them. Play small ball, think small ball, think speed. You can't, they are tall, they can't run as fast. I mean, they, you have to find a way to use that, sh to, to use their, to use your size to your advantage. So, man, you shouldn't be scored on like that. You box out. Points off the bench. I mean, they outscored us. Our, <laughs> our bench, man. Our bench is trash, man. Trash. How dare they? Even their bench had a great time. It's not supposed to be the case. The, that means even the guys on the bench are not even given minutes in Kenya. I mean, please, guys, make sure that... Make sure that you get all the players involved so that they can boost their confidence in the court because if you just keep on serving them and playing other guys who are inefficient heavy minutes, this is what it leads to. These guys were spreading the wealth through those, through across the entire team while Kenya was spreading the wealth across like three guys who are very inefficient, mind you. So I don't know where they're going to get a good bench, but... The bench points have got to improve, got to improve. You're being beaten here, emphatically, everywhere. We never even tied the game. We're almost tying the game, but because of low basketball IQ and Kenya side, my team side has such a low understanding of the game. They don't even know how to capitalize on a six-point lead to shorten it. They were pretty close. They sh we showed some fight in the first, second, and third quarter, especially the third quarter. But in the fourth quarter, we like we quit. Okay, look at this gra this metric. We were we went in together. This is the third quarter we really fought, right? The game was close. The game was close right here. Then we let. Then we just quit. We all y'all stop paying attention. Y'all stop being focused in the game. This is why the lead ballooned. To 92 points, they were about to score 100 points on us. They were about to outscore our entire team. I mean, look, biggest lead 38 points to five points. Are you kidding me, bro? This is an embarrassing loss to Kenya. Please be sure to improve on that. We, they led the whole game in 32 minutes. For <laughs> we only, we only came close like four minutes so that goes to show you the dominant team i'm not saying kenya doesn't have a chance but this we have to make a lot i mean a lot of adjustments and improvements to get back in this qualifier so please get your head together think smart plays think efficiency think winning especially in the fourth quarter if you can't get them in the other quarter it's the fourth quarter yeah Play every player. Know your roles. Everyone knew their role. I don't want to see a, a power forward bringing the ball up court. That's a guard who's supposed to do that. Stop playing hero ball. If you play hero ball, you're not going to win. Alright? So please, guys, this is bad. First quarter. 
all shots. Okay, I got, I have to say the first quarter sounded started decent. We were taking some shots, we we're converting them easy, but they were no efficient shots. We need to manufacture good shots. Okay, if you're a, if you're a rebounding if you're a rebounding center, you don't have to go f you you don't have to go for the dunk. Get the ball, bring it down, take it back up. If you can't get it back up, take the ball, bring it down, kick it out to a shooter. Yeah, man, good good plays, good plays, good plays, smart plays, man. In the second quarter, we start we s we changed the game plan. We stopped playing our game, and that's how they drew blood because all this, all these threes that you let fly, here. It goes to show you that they read us. The first time we we converted everything, you just want to score in the paint. So they saw that you know using the weapon, which is the three. So if you remove that weapon in your artillery, I mean they're gonna capitalize on it. You have to shoot as much threes as you going to, as you attack the basket. You have to not be predictable because at some point in the second quarter you got predictable. All right. Third quarter. Did we fought in this quarter. If we continued with the same momentum, we would have made it a close game. But you guys just blew the game. I mean, I'm not saying this in bad taste, but y'all better improve. Y'all better improve. Fourth quarter. Need I say more? This was the absolute meltdown of a game that I've seen in a team only scored one basket they outscored us with like 34 points <sighs> man, I, man dude, this is the most disappointing quarter this quarter should motivate you to look back at film get better play smart plays we cannot let this thing happen again. This ain't going to fly. I'm going to hold you to the same accountability that I've, I'm holding you right now. If you go ahead this Friday and stink, I will make a video. We will address it. And I'll tell you the actual reality of the future of the team. Because you, you cannot, you, this is unacceptable. Unacceptable at all. Uh, I mean... How dare you guys just fall like that in the fourth quarter, only scoring one basket? Two points. Two points. I mean... Hey, man. Improve. We, we cannot go down like this. <sighs> yeah, man. I'm out. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace out.